What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online, and it is time to take on the next boss, Giant Chief Gahaku. So let's get on into this. So I have a bunch of inventory crap, again, that I haven't sorted, as you, as you can plainly see. I don't know, what do these ancient crystal shards do? Gather five and arrange them in a shape to use the... Okay, make, they make a summon scroll. Tribal statue. So much. Ooh, carnage weapon box. Let's pop this. We got a carnage amulet, which is not that much worse than what I have on now. Interesting. I'm going to throw this down here. I have these cursed crystals. We have blackstone weapons again. A few of those. We got a new ring. So this increases our HP. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather use, um, no. I'd rather use the health ones, or the defense ones. I wanted to use the health ones. There, there we go. But no, the defensive ones, those are what I'd want to use. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. We always got to go through and do that inventory. Um, could do an extra combat XP for this episode. We have 10 of them. Book of, oh, Book of Combat is active. For how many more days? Six more days of the Book of Combat. The Book of Wombats. All right, here we go. Let's, let's, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of this episode, which is the boss fight. All right. Can, can I get control? What on earth? Okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me move my character. All right, buddy, you just sit there, throw your tantrum. I don't know how those counted as back attacks, but that's okay. No complaints here. What the? Holy lag! This boss fight is a holy lag. What is happening? Uh, I can just regular heal. I don't have to big heal yet. What on earth? <laughs> what is that lag? My dude was lagging all over the place. Okay, although he's already dead, the giants are probably aware of the fact that you defeated Gahaku. Hehehe, <laughs> this will break their resolve to invade Keplin. I think this should be enough. All right, an established trade. We need to go back to Greco. So yeah, I was correct. We just went to a new area and we fought um, giants for the first time. So if we see some of them, I'll stop and fight a couple because I don't think I've shown those in an episode. But um, yeah, we went and fought giants. We fought these bad boys. Yeah. So I killed pretty easily. But yeah. we fought them and then this was their leader. So obviously, there's just no... E there's no... Uh, gluttonous leader which which is fine which is which is fine i think they could have made a really cool gluttonous leader but alas we did not get one what is, is this a no i oh, know this is a player huh let's see did i unlock any more nodes going through oh we did we got this node we got this this is new oh no that's not new we got this down here, but obviously I can't note it because I, w I wonder where the heck this connects to. It's got to connect to something over here. I don't think it can. I think this is something, and then this connects to here and here. And then I don't know how or what connects to Keplin. It's gotten weird. It's gotten, it's gotten real weird. Still no attendance rewards yet. My profile, see if our regular rewards are available yet. Yeah, here we go. And level 45. So we got our level 45 rewards. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, swiftness, assault. Okay, well, uh, probably assault. Yeah, what assault? We get, uh, we get a weapon stone, some T skill points, and uh, the $1 million gold bar is nice. Hop back into the inventory for a little bit more management. Move that there. I'll do that. 
move our tea down with the rest of our food. We got a hammy sandwich. Okay, I'm going to move this down into non-visible territory. Move some of the stuff we don't need to see. Like leather right there, kids. Oops. Okay. It's like, yeah, that stuff we don't need to see. Definitely don't need to see this. Give me one more second to inventory manage. There's that. All right. All right, Greco, what do you got to say for yourself? Are you possibly here to see some gems? All right, we came back. All right, oh, so since we've both got what we wanted, bright, elegant wouldn't you consider this a real use. merchant's trade? You should head back to Calpheon. Rest assured, I will not forget what happened here today. If our paths ever cross again, I'm sure we will have some business to discuss. So I need to go back to Alina Light in her office. How would you? So more time for inventory management. Okay, so we need to take this and take it down to our crafting materials. Did I miss this event? I don't know. I might have missed that event. Fishing pole. Move that down here. All right. I think we're good. It's good. En it's good enough inventory management. Move this over here. Do it like that. I have about 1.2 million. About 1.4 million, I think, in stuff here. 1.5 million. It's not really enough to trade in. If it was a little bit more, I might consider might that's a key word might consider trading it in but i don't know I, I, I don't think so i don't think it's too big of a deal to trade it in or need to trade it in i don't yeah i don't think it's a need to trade it in it's not gonna get me anything i mean the next thing i want to do is hit up the central market for like maybe um not, not a not that i want to hit it up for a sub weapon so we do talisman. So one of these, maybe. Hit it up for this. one of these. Uh, try to get a better one. I'd have to upgrade it, but that would be all right. Another thing, can you buy... I don't think you can. Oh, can you? No, that's not what I want. Life tools and consumables. That's not really what I want. Oh, enchantment. Here we go. You can buy black stones. They're 300,000 a stone. Eh. You know, actually probably a fair price. Probably a fair price. 300 grand. Still have 2 million in my uh, where in my marketplace. Uh, so, do still have some money tucked away there. Which is good. I'm just going to start storing all my money in the marketplace. You can withdraw it. I do have an item actually up for sale in the marketplace. I have just one thing. It's this PRI Uria ring. Thought I'd try to sell that for 100, 100k. What on? Oh, okay. I was like, um, but texture hadn't loaded. Mm. There has been a little bit more of that going around. Issues with texture not loading. Except that quest. Timber for Trent. Like here, there's something. There's something there. Don't Probably just well. a piece of wood on the ground or something. Oh, we're getting that. We're getting that juicy frame rate drop. The types. All right, Ash. How much is Actually, this? had a kid go to my school that went by the name Ash. It's all exactly the same way. Again. I like how we get out of this and it loads everything in. Okay. Her entire office is unloaded. All right, Alina Light. My loyalty you arrived earlier than I expected. Welcome. Your potential really is limitless. While you were working in Keplin, many changes happened in the capital city, Yennefer. I've had bad news. An inquisition into the Arnkarosha family is about to take part at the Callous Parliament. The good deeds of Ooh, Sister Norma a judgment day. inspire me. An inquisition has been opened to address matters concerning the Arnkarosha family, disregarding the case of whether, one, whether the family was funding the rebellion of Heidel. If this is found to be true, the Inkarosha family will be ruined. This, however, is something that must be done for the greater good. One must not allow sentimental attachments to interfere in these matters. The facts will be unco uncovered while this parliament is in session, and the Inkarosha family may stand to be punished. If this happens, Enrique will not be the only one punished, but Isabel will also stand to face punishment. 
I understand you've been accompanying Isabel all this time, but surely you haven't grown feelings for the Incarocious, have you? No, she's... No, nope, nope, definitely not. Uh, regardless, you must tell everyone that you are part of the Light family. This is the only way you'll escape punishment. The Callous Parliament will soon come to order. We shall witness the beginning of the end of the Incarocia family. The voice of the people. So, am I actually going to get to make this welcome. decision, or am I just automatic? Now I'm just a part of the 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 Light family. That that's my main thing. I want to know. I want to know if I uh, get to choose. I I would like to choose. Huh? That would be ideal. But I guess I'll have to live with the fact if I don't get to choose. I'm okay. I would choose to be a part of the Light family, I think. She's been nice to me. Which, I mean, doesn't mean a whole lot in politics, but she has been nice to me. This other family's kind of been not nice. Okay, Herman. Calcium Silence under the laws of Callus. This parliament is now in session. The commandments of Kalis are social and moral guidelines we shall abide by. I wish they didn't, like, I wish they didn't interject to say, like, two things. They, they don't read their dialogue, which I guess is fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But they, they don't read their dialogue, but you have to read their dialogue. But while they're talking, I don't want to read their dialogue. Jordan Dukas, the Grand Chamberlain of Heidel, has drawn his sword in opposition against Calfion. We suspect that the Jean Merchant Guild of the Incarosha family is collaborating with Heidel. If the members of the Assembly wish to speak, you may do so now. I am sure that the Incarosha family has a lot to say on this matter. Only the fit shall rule the world. Oversee the situation in Parliament. How do I do that? By talking to people? Is that how I do this? <laughs> Can I... Hello? <laughs> Can I not? Okay, interact. Here we go. Well then. Oh, I can't. Okay. How are you planning to oversee... capture my attention? How do I just oversee? <laughs> ah, here Perpetual we go. Listen to the proceedings. Of Calfion is unmatched by the uncivilized history of Valencia. Okay, can I read? <laughs> I would never betray my country. While it is true that I lent money to Heidel, there was no ulterior motive. Isabel left for Heidel simply to collect the money owed. Our only direct involvement in matters concerning Heidel regards our support for the rebel troops of the castle ruins. This was the only this was only for the purpose of weakening and dividing Heidel and in no way to fund their armies. There is nothing else to be said. I do not wish to make excuses for what is fact. It is due to Lord Elion's guidance that Calfion has become so grand. Is there anyone who cares to offer a different perspective on matters raised by Sir Enrique? I have always known Enrique to be an honest man. How do you plan to explain the means by which Heidel is preparing for war and getting their military funds? It is simply impossible for Serendita to have raised an army and funds so soon after losing the war. That is unless they were receiving support from a merchant guild. As you know, however, neither the Light Merchant Guild nor we, the Ernie or Urn Merchant Guild, have enough funds to do such a thing. We have been busy pioneering trade routes to Medea. Calfion will prosper until the end of time. Is it true that the Jean Merchant Guild is the only merchant guild with the ability to provide military funds? However, is it not a blind assumption to accuse them of doing so just because they can? Well, that's true. I'll give you that. Uh, I do not wish to cast doubt on the Incarosha family. This, especially since they are part of the Jean Alliance. There is no denying, however, Isabel was deeply involved in Hydelian affairs. Her failure to return only raises more suspicion. The Encrocia family claimed that Isabel was wounded on her travels, but I ask you this. How is it possible for Isabel to have been injured when she was accompanied by Povius and this member of the Light Merchant Guild standing beside you? Bo okay, well, I guess I don't get to make... I, I don't get to make the decision by myself. Both known for their skills and prowess on the battlefield. Is that not... Oh, good. Now, now we got... Here we go. We're thrown under the bus now. Is that not so, Yennefer? It seems that Isabel and Povius are hiding in Heidel, so why don't we ask someone who is with us here? Yennefer, give us an answer. Is it true that Isabel cannot come because she is wounded? Could it be that you're simply mistaken of her injuries? Yennefer... T well, I don't actually know. She jumped out... Well, she, she fell... Fell. We don't really know if she fell. Oh, good. The commandments of Kalis are social good. and moral guidelines we shall abide by. Yennefer, were you not a member of the Jean Merchant Guild? Does Alina speak the truth? What happened? I don't want to be a part of the Jean Merchant Guild anymore, so we're out. We're out. We're hopping guilds. We're out. We're joining the Light Merchant Guild. Trust has been broken. Please stop for a second. It's a little too late. 
Isabel and Kurosha, the there are a lot of things to hear from you. Um, what do I do now? I guess we back perpetual out. Perpetual history of Calfion oh, yeah. is unmatched. Okay, I think I need uncivilized to talk to my uh, flag here, buddy. Nope. Who do I turn this quest in? Oh, I gotta turn it into Isabel. Thank you, Yennefer. I will take over from here. Wait, but I didn't help you. <laughs> I negatively impacted you. Just... Alright. Your face is covered in sweat. If you don't mind, could you please take a step back? There is no need to worry. I'll be fine. The time has come to put an end to this unnecessary inquisition. New quest. Ending the silence. Everything will go smoothly. I need to listen to her tell her story. How do I... How do I go about doing that? Ah, here, here we go. Take the step back. My, my apologies for being late, esteemed counselors. I hold in my hand a certificate of acquisition of the Golden Toad Inn. The acquisitions that money from the Jean Merchant Guild was being used to fund treason in Heidel are all lies. Are there any counselors who see otherwise, even as I hold the certificate as proof? It is common knowledge that the Jean Merchant Guild does not limit its business to a single country. Time spent on opening such useless sessions of parliament can be better spent by investigating the grand chamberlain and whoever it was that made such false claims against the incarosha family will be found and properly punished the callous parliament is and should remain a purveyor of truth you would do well to bear this in mind okay now i got this is so weird you gotta go like oh who do i need to talk to now i gotta go i gotta go back around the table all right herman it is due to Lord Ilion's guidance that Calfion has become so grand. With the return of the accused and payment from Hydel having been received, it would appear that our suspicions may well have been misguided. Are there any who would object, or do any of the families wish to raise further issues? If not, then I shall move to review the matter again from the beginning. I see that no one claims further issue. Very well, according to Callus Law, I now call this session to an end. Calfion will prosper until the end of time. Okay, you and Isabel were almost branded as traitors. I would like to apologize to you on behalf of the Callous Parliament. Why? Well, okay, did, did did I in fact misclick, or did I just? Or are we just forgetting that I threw her under the bus? I, I think I might have accidentally misclicked. Oh well. You you and Isabel were almost branded as traitors. I would like to apologize to you on behalf of the Callous Parliament. It seems that we have to first find out if the Grand Chamberlain of Hydel is planning to point us point a sword at us. You said your name was Yennefer. I'll be sure to remember you. The commandments of Khalees are social and moral guidelines we shall abide by. All right, Isabel. Tell me, are we friends still? I don't know. What's with that look? I came here as soon as I could. Anyways, you joined the Light Merchants Guild. What on earth? Well, okay, I guess, well, guess, guess I did join. I guess we're we're out. We're we're in with we're in with the Light Merchant Guild. All right. Were you expecting an emotional reunion? I'm not one to make seen over such things. Since you arrived early in the capital, I imagine you've had plenty of time to play hero. You must be mentally exhausted. Why don't you get some rest? Isn't there someone else you need to see? In all honesty, though, I want you to know that I appreciate all you did this time around. Hey, you're you're welcome, I guess. Okay, let me go find Povius, since I guess we're back to being friends again, even though I threw her underneath the bus. That's just odd, because I, to I tossed her all the way under the bus. I was like, yeah, I don't really know if she was actually injured. Um, yeah, okay. I just threw her 10 feet deep, and then she's just like, oh yeah, we're still friends. We can, we're still cool. Let's go a dish way. Let's go find my homie Povius. Povius, why are you chilling out here by the docks? Povius looks like he's about to murder me down here. There's no one down here! I'm about to get murdered by Povius. Don't kill me, buddy. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like an eternity since we've last seen each other. Good to see you again, rookie. Okay, I guess we're still friends. I'm sure you have a lot to ask. Aren't you curious to how to know what happened after you left? It's all happened after you delivered the medicine to Isabel. Valentine, the chief of Florin, urgently came to us and said that he made the wrong medicine. Oh, good, good, good job, Valentine. The medicine the chief made was supposed to be used to remove poisons from the body. The medicine I have with me here is used to treat infections from wounds such as cuts from a dirty sword. Ironically, Isabel started recovering after taking the medicine that Valentine made. I found this strange because Isabel took a medicine that is supposed to remove poisons 
Do you know what this means? That means that she did not suffer from infections due to a sword cut, but that someone had poisoned her food. We should have checked to see if that in fat. It, it, la, 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 I can't read. Let me let me let me try this again. This means that she didn't suffer from infections due to a sword cut, but that someone had poisoned her food. We should have checked to see if, in fact, Isabel's wounds were from a dirty sword. But we wouldn't have been able to lay hands on someone like Lady Isabel to check our, for ourselves considering our lowly status. The entire thing was planned out. Even with this in mind, the only thing we ate was some stew from the northern wheat plantation. That woman is very cunning. Do you know who I'm referring to? Oh boy, and the tables have turned on me. The one who orchestrated all of this is none other than Normal Light from the Northern Wheat Plantation. Oh, good, I, I joined the bad guys, great. Fantastic. There was no way that Lady Isabel could have been wounded at the Castle Ruins. I mean, I, I was there to protect her. Maybe you just suck at your job, Povius. Forgive me, I must have been distracted by all that has happened lately. This is all my fault. I also left you in a difficult situation too. Trading rights for the Black Crystal Extractions of Keplin must have gone over to the Light Merchant Guild. Do you know who the original proprietor of those trading rights was? None other than the Jean Merchant Guild. You must have fallen for a cheap ploy devised by the Light family. Merchants are always are most dangerous when they offer acts of goodwill. You look like you're full of rage. What will you do? Confront a line of light? I mean, I guess, sure. I don't feel like I was really duped. She was still... You know, now they're nice to me. They were kind of like, ooh, we're better than you in the beginning of the game. Now they're nice to me. Expensive to buy. All right, Alina, what you got to say for yourself now? One action is worth more than a thousand words. Okay. Yennefer, you came as I expected you would. You seem to be glowing with content. Thanks to you, our plans have failed. Miserably. All that has happened was brought on by the spiteful will... Uh, I lost my spy. spiteful will of those that have passed on. You are right. It is we, the Light family, who has given Lady Isabel such troubles. Okay. Like my sister, I will keep persuading the Parliament for the people. The Incarosha family grew in a short period of time. They were ruthless in removing their competition using any and all means possible. Oh, good. So am I going to have to make a choice based on, like, everybody just feeding me whatever crap I have to be fed? Competitors of the Incaroshas included good people. Some even were highly regarded in society. However, why does it keep skipping to the top? Stop. Stop it. Stop it. I'm losing my place. I'm reading. However, the Incarosha family showed no mercy. They dealt a blow to their rivals that drove families to the brink of extinction. Many from these those families fell into poverty, resorting to extreme measures just to survive. What of their families? Considering all of the pain the Incarosha family has inflicted on the on others, the fall of Lady Isabel and the decline of her family are but a small price to pay. Stop skipping to the top. Your presence has been the greatest variable of change to this plan. I was hoping that you would not return until the Callous Parliament session was over. However, I did not anticipate that you would resolve issues in Keplin so quickly. Now everything has gone downhill. So now that you know, what do you plan to do? Are you going to tell the Parliament of your plans to kill, of our plans to kill Lady Isabel? Are you going to let the people know? The Incarosias were able to get where they are today through sheer ruthlessness. Us lights supported the needy and have won the respect of the people in the capital. I'm pretty sure which side you'll see as being right. The Jean Alliance ends today. It would have been nice if you had simply joined. I did join you. I, I don't. I did. I, I don't. I don't. I don't get this. My loyalty always leaves. So it went from okay, it's not your. It's your choice. You can join the lights or not. So I joined the lights, and then it was like, oh no, no, no. Even though you joined us, you're you're out. You're out again. I don't get this at all. All right, Povius. There's some truth to what a line of light said. There are many who have suffered injustices because of us. Therefore, we cannot be too critical of their actions. This is Calpheon, the city of power. We shall remember what happened here today. There will be many changes to the Jean Alliance in the future. Go to Lady Isabel. The entire situation will have already come to an end. She has something that she wishes to discuss with you. Wait, before you go, I want to personally thank you. As a member of the Jean Merchant Guild, you have done well. Okay, I guess we're back. We're back, baby. We're back as a member of the of the Jean Merchant Guild. All right, you're here. We're going to continue moving forward. Jean Merchant Guild only exists today by overcoming difficulties such as these. We started our journey from the scanty town of Heidel and have come a long way. This being together, of course. Do you remember what my father told you? That you did not fit the profile of a merchant guildsman? I think this was correct. 
You're too valuable to be bogged down by corruption and struggles for power. I have had to make a hard decision, but I believe I have made the right one. You're fired. Okay, well, we, we're we we're part of the Jean Merchant Guild. We turn on the Jean Merchant Guild and we join the the Light Guild. Then we get kicked out of the Light Guild and we're... Or no, then the Jean Guild just makes us a part of them again. So then we go talk to the Light Guild and we're kicked out of the Light Guild. She doesn't like us anymore. We go back to the Jean Merchant Guild and the Jean Merchant Guild fires us. So good, good. This is, this is great. You seem surprised, but allow me to explain my reasons. This ordeal... Where the heck is ordeal? Um, this ordeal has made me realize that there are those who suffer when the Merchant Guild, when I act on profit. Those around me, such as yourself, are also harmed in the process. There is still much to do, but I will take responsibility for whatever happens from here on out. Your story will no doubt take you to greater horizons, but at the end of the day, it must be your own story, free from the influences of others. When our stories come to an end, they shall come when we meet again as equals. I look forward to this day. Make haste, yet be careful on your journey to the top. Okay. All right, Black Spirit, what are we doing now? The story of the hero born upon the winds. Oh, my dude's looking. Yo, my Black Spirit, the Black Spirit just looks absolutely disgusting. He is such a cool looking character. Uh, uh, how did this happen? How on earth did we get fired? We should have taken over the entire merchant guild. I just thought we would witness a more exciting outcome. Eh, you don't need to be upset about it though. Sure, you lost your job, but oh, on the other hand, you managed to achieve further fame through the, your exploits in Kelplin. Hee hee We are the heroes who saved Calpheon. I can hear a barely noticeable melody traveling through the winds. Could it be the poets who are singing songs of our tales? They're probably hymns that are dedicated to us. I'm curious. Let's go back to Calpheon. Hee hee hee. I need to listen in on the conversations of the villagers near the south gate of Calpheon. Oh, we've got we've got ourselves a gift. I... Ooh, I got a necklace too. I got a Kaya necklace. Claim our gift. Let's see. What all did we get out of that? So we got our that. What is this? This it Ooh, seven attack. Wow. That is clean. So this is four. That's earrings. Oh, I can only have one necklace, right? Yeah, I think I only have one necklace. But yeah, that's nice. We didn't get too many rewards out of that. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we did a lot of heavy story elements in this episode, which I'm happy about. That was really interesting. Cool. A little confusing, but cool nonetheless. And what I'm happy about is I thought when she fired us, that was kind of like, oh, there's the end of the main story. You got fired. Okay, goodbye. But it doesn't look like that's the end, which is really good because, I don't know, that would have been an awkward end to a pretty decent story. It's good for an MMORPG, at least the ones I've played. I haven't played all of Elder Scrolls Online or Final Fantasy XIV at all, so so we'll find out. But I thought that was that was a good episode. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Not a lot of almost zero combat in this episode, but a little bit of a heavier story episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another episode of my Sorceress Main. Peace.